are looking for the perfect cookie recipe, you have come to the right place because today we are making my husband's very favorite cookie, a favorite in our house. We are making oatmeal raisin cookies. These cookies are soft, chewy, perfectly crisp on the outside, and they are going to be a huge hit with your family too. There are a couple tricks to this recipe. Let's talk about them. The first one is how you measure your flour. Did you know that if you scoop your flour right from the container, you can end up with 25% more? That is going to make for a cookie that does not spread. So let's start by scooping some all-purpose flour with a spoon from the container into our measuring cup. Now level it off. Pour your all-purpose flour into a big bowl. Now add in baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Whisk it all together until it is very well combined. You wanna make sure that that baking soda gets to every part of the all-purpose flour. Set aside your flour mixture. On to important tip number two for this recipe. Let's talk about butter. Your butter for these cookies, and really every cookie that we're gonna make together, needs to be room temperature. Now room temperature doesn't mean stick it in the microwave and heat it up, because that's gonna make it too soft. Room temperature butter is gonna actually feel cold to the touch. I like to cut mine into one inch pieces and leave it out on my counter on a clean plate for about a half hour. Then with some freshly washed hands, you check it by pressing in lightly. It should dent easily, but you should not be able to push your finger all the way through. Now you can use a hand mixer or a large stand mixer. Add your butter to the bowl and now add in some white sugar and brown sugar. We're going to mix it until it is light and fluffy, about three to six minutes. Now grab two eggs. We want our eggs to be room temperature. I like to do that by putting them in a bowl of lukewarm water for about five minutes. Crack your eggs into a bowl, and now add them to the butter sugar mixture one at a time. Now add in some vanilla extract. Now grab the all-purpose flour mixture. I like to add my flour mixture when I'm making cookies all at once. There are some recipes that suggest that you add it a little bit at a time, but I find that that makes for way too much mixing, which isn't good for the gluten in the flour. You want to add it all at once, start the mix around low, just enough so the flour doesn't fly everywhere, and then turn up the speed and mix for just a couple seconds until it's well incorporated. Now add in your oats and your raisins and give it a quick mix. Now scoop out your cookies. I love using a cookie scoop because it makes all my cookies uniform in size and then they cook evenly. After you get your cookies all scooped, you wanna hand roll them. Now off to the oven. Halfway through the baking time of your cookies, rotate the pan. My oven's a little funky, it's got some hot spots here and there. Rotating the pan makes sure all the cookies cook evenly. After your cookies are done cooking, pull them out of the oven, give them about a minute or two, and then transfer them to a wire rack. And that is it. That is the perfect oatmeal raisin cookie that my husband will eat the dough from straight from the bowl if I'm not quick enough to form it into cookies. I know that your family is gonna love this amazing, delicious cookie recipe.